Ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome back to Bobo Bespoke. And um, today we are trying to make Chelsea boots on a shoe last, so this is some kind of experimental shoe making. We'll start by, um, you know, drawing the pattern for the Chelsea boots, and these are some of the tools, equipment, and um, resources that we are going to use. We start first of all by taping up the last. Um, many of you who are used to videos on my channel already know um, what's going on. I tape up both sides of the last, then I draw my center line on the last, which is a simple matter of um, finding a few spots along the center of the last drawing out a straight line on a flat piece of masking tape and then using that straight line to connect the dots and you know you have a fairly decent um, center line drawn both in front and at the back of the last so let's connect the dots at the back of this last and we have our center lines or our main axis in the front and the back next thing is we calculate the standard last length from the back to the tip like so on this last it is 25.5 cm next thing to do is to divide that standard last length by 5 25.5 divided by 5 will give us 5.1 so we mark out 5.1 as the measurement of our counterpoint at the back center line then we add 1 cm to the counterpoint to get our back height. Counterpoint, back height done. Next, we, we find the ball of this last. So we place it on a flat surface like so and mark out the widest point. Do the same on the reverse side and mark it out. So these two points are the ball of, the, of this last. And if we join them together with a line like so, that line is our vamp line the point where the vamp line crosses the center line in front is known as the vamp point and if you measure from the vamp point to the outer ball and divide that into two divide that line into two you have a point from which if you draw a line from your counterpoint to that middle point you have another line known as the water line Having found the quarter line, let's calculate the instep. Remember we said the standard last length divided by 5 gives off the counterpoint. Standard last length divided by 5 will give us the counterpoint. The standard last length divided by 4, on the other hand, will give us the measurement of the instep. And the instep is measured from the vamp point, which is that point in the middle where the vamp line crosses this card, um, the center line measured towards the top. So. 25.5 divided by 4 gave us 6.35. We measured 6.35 from the van point. Okay, so we cut out our last copies. We cut out, we divide everything we've done into two equal parts cutting along the center line tearing off all of the excess material that we really do not need just tear out all of that material then we peel off gently the inside part known as the medial side and then we'll peel off the outside part known as the lateral side. Next thing, we're going to flatten them on top of a cardboard. So we run our hand along that line of force area. Then cut a few notches to help it lie down snug flat on the flat piece of paper. And then towards this um, center line region, you flatten carefully. Um, it's okay to have a few rumples, but not one big major rumple. Rumple. So if you have quite a few, three, four, five, six small, small rumples, that's perfectly acceptable. But one big major rumple will mess up your pattern significantly. 
so let's cut out the last copies so with these last copies that we have cut out we are going to generate a mean form so we cut out the cut out notches to indicate our vamp line our vamp point our counterpoint counterpoint as well then we take the medial side flip it over and then trace it out indicating of course all of the cardinal points that we marked earlier then, then we take the lateral side place the heel point on the heel point and the tip of the toe on the tip of the toe of the latter that is joining the medial side and lateral side heel and tips together and then we also now trace out the lateral side itself again indicating all of our cardinal points that we marked out and cut notches for earlier now you notice that both of them don't lie square on top of each other they have differences so at the front at the top line area and at the back the places where they have differences you find the middle of them and mark them out you will not need to find out the middle the difference um, at the places where it's on the feather red which is down below um, you just simply take the longer of the two lines and use that as your uh, mean form line what we are trying to do now is to calculate the mean form generate the mean form now let's uh, mark out the vamp lines indicated on both the lateral side and the, the medial side so those two again we find the middle between them and then draw out that middle line so um, I actually did the vamp lines of the last copies with pencil so I can clean them out later on and then you know trace out the real middle one with ink then we'll simply also find the quarter line of this mean form by just connecting the counterpoint to the middle of the mean that's the average vamp line that we have then we cut along the middle um, positions that we marked out earlier so the reason why we are doing this really is we are trying to generate a mean form a mean is an average so um, on two sides of the last there are places where um, one is longer than the other they are not symmetrical so that's what a mean form does so you take shortfalls on one side and compensate for excesses on the other side so having generated our mean form we'll now begin in earnest our boot design first thing we do is we draw a right angle line and then we will calculate the heel pitch of this boot we do that by placing a piece of pencil and then tilting the last towards until it touches the pencil then we measure how long how far it lifts off from the ground on this last is two